we talk about it often, the Facebook group, and there's all different kinds of ways to talk about it. But today I'm going to talk about it this way. We're actually going to talk about a four letter word that is probably destroying your attempts to make a decent profit. The four letter word is B-U-S-Y. And today I'm talking about you as the owner being B-U-S-Y, busy. And what it's actually doing uh, to your ability to make the profit that you need. So we've spoken over the last month or so about, you know, learning to say no to jobs uh, that, you know, are adding to your wait list or that aren't the right type of work for you or that are other people's emergencies that you're trying to accommodate, which puts stress on the whole team. And we know when there's too much stress to get all the cars out, we reduce our uh, focus on upselling and maximizing the opportunity on every car. So we know we don't want that. We've spoken lots and lots about that. But what about where you're the owner who is still in the business every day, doing a little bit out the front, a little bit with customers, a little bit of problem solving on the floor, also trying to sit down at your desk and maybe return emails, return phone calls. And somewhere in all of that, uh, you are supposed to do work for the business as well. So that's the kind of busyness that I want to talk about today and how it is affecting your profit result. And it affects your profit result just as much as not being able to say no, continually squeezing cars in where they don't fit and not paying any attention to your ideal uh, daily car count. So you being too busy really has one major side effect, and that's that you don't have any vision outside of the actual thing in front of you and today. So you're not thinking uh, a month down the track or 12 months down the track or two years down the track or further like you should be as the CEO of the business. So CEOs aren't necessarily focused every day on what's right in front of them. They need to look ahead. And when your day is taken up with doing a little bit um, all around the workshop, you can't possibly have that kind of vision. That has an effect on your profit result because you're not able to um, set aside the time to you know, review profitability and efficiency and look at a margin exception report to see where you've sold things out too cheaply. To have really constructive chats with the team about the numbers that you want them to hit and how they should be hitting those numbers. You just don't have time for that stuff. Um, I've spoken to I don't know how many shop owners who literally make the time to get on the call but then uh, admit to themselves that no nah, I just don't even have time to go any further than this and that's a really big shame because recognizing that you need help but not taking the next step to make a change so that you can get the help. All that means is that you're going to stay stuck exactly where you are. All the fancy software programs in the world uh, being implemented into your shop will not change your outcome if you don't stop being so busy and, um, and neglecting your CEO duties, which is to have vision and to coach your team, not to do everything for your team. If you would like to see a better profit result, the first thing that you should be doing after you've practiced saying no and after um, reserving a couple of hours in each day to allow for upsells is you need to carve out CEO time so that you get some vision and you can start to nut out a plan. If you need help with that, then you know how to get in contact with us. Um, but remember, the, the four letter swear word that we're talking about here is busy. So if you're too busy, make sure you take some time this afternoon before you actually walk out the door and plan your day for tomorrow. That includes CEO time, thinking time, visionary time. All right, guys.